Ignore that. So I read this article. It said 87% of all classical video games are just not accessible to today's generation. That's a pretty sad thought, cause that's my childhood, just gone. And while emulation is always the go-to answer, it's not always the easiest. There's tons of these little handhelds and DIY projects. But they all have their own issues and you're usually spending a day or two just troubleshooting. Maybe that's just me. But getting EmuDeck up and running on the Steam Deck was the easiest modification I've ever done. The whole process takes about 20-30 minutes, tops. So go ahead and grab your deck and we'll get started. I know what I said. The first thing we're going to do is switch to desktop mode. You can do this by holding the power button or hitting the Steam button, scrolling down to power, and switching to desktop. Once in desktop mode, you're going to head down to Firefox and type in EmuDeck. On the right hand side of the screen is the download button, and this will bring you to a page to where you can install the launcher. You want to make sure to move this to your desktop, it doesn't work otherwise. Once you've moved the file to your desktop, go ahead and double click it and let it run. A little warning window is going to pop up asking you if you're sure and now that you mentioned, yes, I'm sure, do it. Once it's done downloading, you're greeted with two options, an easy mode, which will do everything for you and is more or less a hassle-free experience, and a custom mode, where you can choose what emulators you want to download, your aspect ratio, some filters, and even your controller layout. You can always come back to these and check them out, I really wouldn't worry about setting them up right now. Next it's going to ask you where you want to store your legally owned ROMs. I suggest using the SD card, it just makes it easier to swap the ROMs in and out. After that, it's going to ask you what device you're using, and obviously, the Steam Deck. Uh, next, you're going to need one of these. Either the official Steam Deck dock, a Mac Multi-Hub, or a USB to USC adapter. They'll all do the trick, but the dock or the hub will keep the device powered while you work on it. You're also going to need a flash drive large enough for all your ROMs, plus a gig. Once it's plugged in, make sure the Steam Deck actually recognizes it. If not, you can just click on the bottom right hand corner, and select the USB drive. Select the USB drive on the EmuDeck menu, and let it create some folders. Now plug your USB stick into the computer, and copy your ROMs into the select folders. So GBA to GBA, GameCube, GameCube, you get the picture. Once that's finished, take it back to the Steam Deck and hit Copy ROMs on Deck. You're basically done at this point. Just go into the ROM Manager, hit Preview, change anything if you want to, you can select what games you want to show up, you can even change the game art. Then, make sure to hit Save to Steam. That's important, make sure you do it, because otherwise you'll uh, have to do this again. Now restart your Steam Deck and enjoy. The Steam Deck is a powerhouse when it comes to game emulation. I was able to play Yoshi's Island for 6 hours before the battery died, and it ran beautifully. If for some reason a game isn't launching correctly, I found that launching it through its respective emulator can help, like GameCube to Dolphin. After that it should run fine. Overall this was a pretty fun project. So, if you decide to do it, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what games you're playing. And until next time, keep it real. Keep it real.